It's where I grew up. I was only 50 yards from Lindo Common, which was mysterious and dark, and we could let our imaginations run wild. I think all of my making for all of my life is, is just about who I am and where I grew up. So really I was coming back to the beginning and back to my roots. And so I was brought up about the bog being full of murderers and wicked people who would grab you and put you in a sack and you'd never be seen again. And so there were always mysterious stories about the bog. This exhibition is much bigger in terms of numbers of work, but this spans a much bigger landscape. I made a lot of heads. <laughs> And they were all trying to capture a feeling of something of the bog, the nature of the bog. Uh, there is a narrative going through as I was searching for the right way to capture what I was feeling and how I felt when I was in the landscape and how I felt when I was thinking about all the stories that I'd heard, both Alan's myths and uh, stories, legends, I call them what you will, and my childhood memories. All of the work is linked. I think I only ever make stuff from one source. Mm -hmm.